Hi everyone and welcome to part 49 of the Sands of Time. Now last time we got the, um, I'll get rid of that, <laughs> last time we got the uh, search for love adventure which is what we were after, <laughs> even though we'd uh, cancelled it a couple of times. I think one time we cancelled it because the guy we had to see was a blooming zombie so we couldn't do anything. Anyway, this will, should get us into the Temple of Queen Hatshepsut. So we're going to apply for this job. And uh, we'll be given two keys, I think, <laughs> thanks to Carl's Sims Guide <laughs> that I uh, had to look things Even up. Even nerd. Mm -hmm. Weebs. Weebs. Fula leaves. <laughs> Okay, John has earned 90 ancient coins. A few words with a friend. Thanks for responding to my request. I need you to speak with my friend, Shadia Rashid, about his desire to prove his ridiculous theory about his ancestor and Hatshepsut. Ask him to explain, and I'm sure he'll talk your ear off with his nonsense. So the objective is to ask about Hatshepsut with Shadia Rashid to earn some visa points. Okay, we'll do that then. Dag Report dag. in. <laughs> so, so. We've been here before, haven't we? I think, yeah, because they had the um, <laughs> thing over here. Yeah, down there. John mm. Cool, John has earned another 90 ancient coins. Uh, woo them with jewels. Yes, I do need some help about proving that one of my ancestors was a consort to Queen Hatshepsut. I'm running down a lead and will need your help soon. I have a good idea about helping Rafi Barakat though. Call it a Shadia Rashid special. Jewels are the key to a lover's heart, yes? To make the jewellery, I will need uh, three pieces of alabaster. Bring the gems to me and you'll be paid for your troubles. This should help poor Rafi Barakat out with romance. So find three pieces of alabaster and deliver them to Shadia Rashid to earn some money. Do we have them already? Yes, we do. Jolly good. Zartaduni. <laughs> Okay, teach him to cook. Oh dear. <laughs> I have another idea to aid my friend in love. I found this instructional book for preparing romantic foods, but my friend simply refuses to read it. Could you read this book, then go over the highlights with Rafi Barakat? Okay, so we've got to read the book then. Yeah, all right then. And what did we get? Uh, oh, we got 64 simoleons and 90 ancient coins. So we've got to read this blooming book. He could do with his energy, couldn't he? Actually, do we have a potion in here? Oh yes, we do. Oh, where is it? Is that it? Potent invigorating. Yeah, let's take that. We don't have a lot of time. So where's this book? Oh, there it is. Questionable romantic foods. Um, okay, so we've got his energy right up um, let's go to the marketplace and then uh, where are we then he can uh, sit in the marketplace or something and read this book I don't know how long it's going to take him this is the problem read questionable romantic foods is he a fast reader I think he oh he's a fast learner attractive <laughs> Observant, opportunistic, steel bladder, hardly hungry, jet setter, learned relic hunter, meditative trance sleep and long distance friend. So do we have like a fast reader thing? Let's have a look. What have we got? Extra creative body sculpture, inheritance, dusty old lamp, time remote control, claimed author. I'm sure there's one where you can read quickly. Super green thumb. Perfect host always on the list. No bills ever. That would be a good one actually. No bills ever. 
um, bookshop bargainer. Oh, okay. I thought. Fine, thank you. <laughs> um, I can't see anything. No. Oh, okay, never mind. Fast learner, I think it was the one that I was thinking of. Right, what I'll do, I'll pop this on fast and edit it through. Jolly good, so he's read that. I'm trying to find the... Um, his shower in a can. Oh, there it is, 25 of them. Okay, eat that, do that. <laughs> And where's that thing? Teach romantic food. Thing. What's that? Teach romantic food making techniques. Talk to Rafi to complete the step of the opportunity. So he gets to keep this book, does he? Yeah. Okay. Huh. <laughs> E kundu Tonkala Cool. John has earned ninety ancient coins. The key to her heart. You have read the book, so you know how worthless it is. Anyway, while Shadia Rashid has been wasting our time, I've been doing some digging and found out that one of Queen Hatshepsut's secret lairs is beneath one of the houses in this very town. You should go check it out for clues. Oh. Enter the secret hideout of Queen Hatshepsut. Recover anything of use there and return to Shadia Rashid for some visa points and simoleons. Tico, tico, oh, right, okay, so we've got to enter the secret hideout of Queen. Oh, it's there, is it? Is it that house? Looks like it. Right, okay. Oh. Right, I'll visit the Amin, visit the Amin household. Aha, aha. Can we just do that then? Without having to visit? Looks like it opens out into a staircase. I don't like the home ones because normally they have to be in for you to be able to get into the home. Because you've got to get inside the house, but at least with this one, it's on the outside, which is uh, very helpful. Work. Ah! <laughs> oh, now he can't get in because it is in someone's house. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Damn. Can we look down there? No, we can't even look down there. Okay, so... Got to wait for someone to come home then. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, well... And it's... What household? I mean... We can't knock on the door because there's no one there. Whoops. Oh, how frustrating can't really do anything else. I have to wait for them to get home then. Let's, um, ah, Inji Amin. Oh, it's her again. It's that old woman again. Right, okay. Well, let's buy items then. As she's in the marketplace, we'll go and buy items and, oh, is he stuck? Kubunak, Lurbapi. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Has she come home, has she? she anything to do with anything no sealed out voter oops do all uh lobby glam under speech never said wrecking me right let's see what we've got 
We don't need anything then, do we? We'll get some more mummy snacks, actually, while we're here. Uh, seems we've got some money there, 100. So... Right, that leaves us with a thousand. Right, is she going to go home? It's going to take her ages to get home, isn't it? Well, while we're waiting for her to go home then, <laughs> we'll uh, do something. What can we do? I'm sure... Well, no, I think that was China, actually. I saw something. Can we find something? Any holes or anything? Oh, I know what we can do. Let's um, activate this tier of Horus. Let's see if we've got anything nearby. Uh, well, we've just got that one, haven't we? That's the one where we went into. Dig sites and relics. Um, I'm just thinking of somewhere near. Let's uh, go here. excavate that and I'm going to see if she's going home because I think that's the person we want but we haven't got f um, far to we haven't got much time left is she going to go home no she isn't oh that's so annoying I thought she was going to go home is someone in no so I'm just going to have to keep a check on that then. But he's going to be going home soon anyway. Let's see what he um, what he finds here. And then we'll check on it again to see if see if they're home. That's the problem with uh, these home ones, as I said before. If they're not home, then you can't get in. I thought that was going to be easier because the thing was on the outside, but never mind. Hmm. I'm sure. Oh, what's he found? Oh, an unknown rare seed. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh. I found some gold. So, oh, so just use his hands to see. Oh, he's there. He's got a brush. <laughs> hmm. Oh. And he's found twenty ancient coins. Uh, oh. And how long this takes? Let's have another look see what's going on here no ah uh. there's one thing I found oh no I always found a relic worth 120 yeah there it is just remembered on Carl's uh, guide sims guide thing there's a step thing there, or something to step on. You can actually open another door in the Sphinx. So we'll do that. We'll probably have to continue with Hatshepsut next time we come, because he's only got, as I say, he's only got, um, there's still no one home. So I'll go back to the Sphinx. Or is he going to get a boat? Yeah, he is as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Doesn't work very well, does it? Now where's he going? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's working now. <laughs> I'd have thought he'd have just jumped on his motorbike. Oh, there's another dig spot there.
would have been better off using the motorbike all the way through, wouldn't they? Yeah, apparently, in the side of the Sphinx there, you can get some really good treasure. So, ah, oh, you can see the door there, and there's another one there by the look of it. Oh, we've got one hour. Oh, that's a shame. Your vacation will be over in one hour. Okay, let's put these walls up a minute, see what we've done. Ah, stairs. Okay, here's stairs. <laughs> Look like doors there. Ah. What's that? Find a hidden door. Well, let's um put the walls down. Ah. Ah. That's the bit that we've done before. Oh, so that brings us through to here. Oh, very clever. Right, there's no uh, traps, is there? That's probably why he wanted to open a treasure chest before, I believe, if I remember right. Let's open this one. I bet we haven't got time to do all this. <laughs> There's a statue there. There must be something there. I reckon that's the secret door because there's something sparkling there. What's this? Jeremy. John is feeling a bit more contagious than usual. Okay, let's um, pull that out of the way then. Is there something behind there? Or maybe it's on the wall. Uh, is there something on those things? Can we move these? No, we can't move these. That's the stairs. Huh. Can we move that? No. There's got to be something there. Can we move these? No. Okay. Or maybe we'll just pull this out then. There's got to be something there, hasn't there? There's nothing coming up. Okay, well let's clear that. Ah, oh. <laughs> we had all that time and now that's it. Oh well, never mind. Right, jolly good. So we got a thousand points for coming back home. What's this? I'll impress Kaylin Langerak. Oh, I'll shove that in for now. You can always change it later. So we've got to wait two days again. Um, he's really hungry. I'm going to get him to take some pemmican or something. Can't find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Or oh, something. Pemmican, yeah. I'll we'll eat that then. Oh, <laughs> should have waited till he got home, shouldn't I? Right, go home. Uh, what's this? I'll socialise with a werewolf. Probably do with a nap actually, although it's uh, 20 to 7 in the evening because he took that stuff and he's that brimming ice cream thing again. He's still got his, uh, as it's summertime, and he's still got his um, uh, Christmas decorations up. Let's, um, holiday house lights, none. <laughs> Otherwise, if he wants to put them up again in the, in the winter, we'll have already done it. Okay, jolly good. So we've got some, oh, let's put our water thing on. 
turn that on. Um, skills. Ah, oh, he's all right for his skills then, I think. Yeah, for his for his job and everything was his career. Yeah, looks like he's going to get a raise then. I'm going to get rid of that and that because this is all to do with Egypt, and I'm hoping he'll want this raise. Now it's Sunday. Um. So yeah, he works on Monday at 7 a.m. Okay. So we'll be going to work in the morning. Right. Let's get him to um harvest his stuff in the garden. His, uh, get his gardening skill up as well then won't it yeah okay so when he's done that I'm going to take him to the um, elixir store see if we can get any more potions and things because it always comes in handy like friendship and the elixirs and things the uh, potent invigorating elixir, I mean. And then we'll pop him into bed, I think. We've got to be up for work in the morning. I still didn't get rid of that blooming thing. Hardest thing. Right. Bye. Oba Nunan Laracus Salini Lashini Lorgo Borigog. Mm hmm. Okay. Essence of magic. <laughs> Uh, spotlight mushrooms, lean and mean, large and in charge. It's gold there. Pile of bottle cheap, but no, there's nothing there, is there? Okay, well, we'll take him home then for now and get him to have a sleep. As I say, he's got to be at work in the morning. I think what we'll do um, is the, these episodes I've been doing, they, I seem to get a little bit carried away. So I think what I'll do, I'll leave this episode here for now. And then next time we'll continue with his sleep and, and going to work. Um, I doubt if we'll um, be able to go to China. I really want to go to China to get this Pangu's axe. I don't think um, we'll be able to get there next time because we'll, uh, as I say, he's got to um, spend two days uh, before he um, before he goes abroad again. So uh, anyway, we'll leave it at this for now. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to comment in the section below and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and ding the bell so you get all notifications in your inbox and uh, not just for uh, sands of time but um you know, sims 3 uh it's also sims 2 stuff i've been putting up as well so um join me next time <laughs> for the next exciting adventure of the sands of time bye bye